Hello, it is Cheap Nails Happy News. Stay frugal with nail art. And here at this channel, I love using cheap and affordable products, so consider subscribing. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a nail design I did based off the Bronco from BattleBots. BattleBots is a TV show that airs on Discovery, and it's one of my favorite shows. So I had to do a nail design about it. Actually, I filmed this video quite a while ago when my nails were longer, but I never got around to uploading it, so today is the day. So let's get to the tutorial. I started off by painting all of my nails white except for my ring finger. I painted with this beautiful metallic polish. And after that is completely dry, I'm going to take some of this super pretty nail foil. It doesn't it look like exactly like metal? It's so cool. It looks like actually looks like that metal tape that you buy from hardwood hardwood hard hardware stores. I don't know why I said hardwood. Hardware stores. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and cut a few pieces of this foil so I can use it. Isn't it just so gorgeous? I'll put this foil down in the description box down below if you want to check it out because it is an awesome set of foil. And I'm going to take some of this red foil that is just gorgeous. It has just this super shine to it and I'm not sure if it's like an orange holographic I'm not sure what the shine to it is but it's just gorgeous and after I cut that I'm gonna go ahead and take some of this star goo which is nail glue and I'm gonna put a thin coat of that on my nails and I'm gonna let it dry for five minutes and it dries clear when it's all dry but sometimes it's hard to see when your nails white to, can, to tell if it's dry so you basically want to wait like five minutes as long as you can wait for it to be dry because you want to make sure it's completely dry and then you want to take your foil and you want to put it on the nail and just just gently press it down and I'm gonna put it on one half of my nail because I'm gonna save the other half and now you gently take it off and in case you miss some spots you can go ahead and put it back on there and just pat it down lightly and just get the rest of the spots that you missed. You can also add more star glue, let that dry and then apply it again. Now I'm going to take some of the other glue, glue <laughs> some of the other foil that I cut and I'm going to put that on the other half of my nail and press it down and this foil is so fun to use. I just love using foil. It is so fun. I have many videos on how to put foil on your nails cheaply so you can click the i button if you want to watch those okay now my nails got some foil on them but we need to paint my ring finger so i'm going to take some red acrylic paint and a toothpick and i'm going to go ahead and draw the little symbols i don't know if, they're, if i should call them symbols or not but the little symbols that are on bronco's flipper and they're kind of like just like two triangle two upside down triangles and then these little red lines going down it and it's like it goes down the flipper it's kind of like my nails the flipper if that makes sense and the metallic wonderful metallic nail polish I use to paint my, my nail with is like the metal you see where I'm going with this it's like it's like the flipper also I like using acrylic paint to draw details on my nails instead of just using nail polish because nail polish has a tendency to always smudge so if you don't have a no smudge top coat that could be a real problem so I su suggest using acrylic paint for this step and our flipper nail is done okay now I'm gonna put a watered base top coat on my foil because you do not want to crinkle and tint your foil so you definitely want to use a watered base top coat this one from born pretty that is two dollars I got off, off of eBay works really well so I'm gonna let that watered base top coat fully dry and then I'm gonna take some quick dry top coat and put that over my nails just to seal them all in I've said it once I say it twice I'll say it again I always love knowing foil on my nails it's so fun okay all of my nails are done and i think they're awesome oh and i took some of that red acrylic paint and i painted bronco on my thumb also uh it was kind of i couldn't film me doing it because i could just not could i couldn't hold my thumb in the right position okay i just could not i could not film me doing it but anyways i just put bronco on my thumb and i think these nails look gorgeous i am so happy with them and i loved wearing these on my nails when I filmed this a little while ago 
it I, it brings back some nostalgia for me because my nails are so long in this video. I miss my long nails. But yeah, these are my Bronco nails. I think they turned out pretty well. I just love that metal looking foil. I hope you guys enjoyed that nail design. You can tell me down in the comment section down below what you think of it, of course. Give this video a like if you liked it. And I've done other designs featuring BattleBots like this, the Yeti you nails. You can click the i button if you want to see that. Also, I got a request to do tombstone nails, which is another BattleBot design. So look for that in the future. And I will see you next Friday. Bye! Anyone ever wonder why I have a piece of paper always stuck on my wall in the background? It's because I usually take, I put my nails like this and I take a picture of it. No. That's why there's always a, you know, just a piece of printer paper taped on my wall. You've been informed, you know.